Hey, what is up Flores fam? It is Arissa here. I am four months in to growing my hair out. <laughs> Excuse my hair. I had it in the headband because it's, I'm gonna look like Polly B for a bit. In every video I make, I'm somewhere new. <laughs> I'm actually back in my parents' house. I've been living on my own for about five years. COVID-19 kind of threw a wrench in that. If anybody comes to a stop. Okay, anyways, the purpose of today's video is I've been wanting to experiment with a lot of different things. COVID didn't really make that possible. I kind of just experimented with like scarves and bandanas and stuff. Shaved all my hair off, grown it back out a little bit, and uh, but while it's growing out, I want to actually start to style it and do different things like that. So, here it goes. To go away. I saw this one, just a penny. This one's really cute. It's kind of like this little lilac pink purple magenta moment. She's a little bit of a bob. She got some bangs. Now, the thing that I have the most problem with, with wigs, and mind you, I used to work for somebody that did like princess party things, so I had to dress up as Disney princesses and go perform for kids. It was struggle because your girl got a big head. So my main thing was that I could never find something that was comfortable fit, didn't look like I was like a peanut bean head. This, I'm hoping, is a little cheap alternative. So we're gonna open it now. Ooh, okay, so I insert name here. See what I mean by I'm a cheap girl. I can carry all sorts of in there. You know that hair days. Well, <laughs> jokes on you. <laughs> These ladies have said that their wigs are made of synthetic fibers, so they're not real hair, but they're just as soft, and you can also heat style them. It's the wig cat. It's not really my skin color, you know. I'm a little bit darker, but you know the winter months were rough. Oh, she is soft. Oh my god, I love this one. So don't mind me, I'm just brushing out some of these waves because they got a little bit tangled. So first impression, it looks really, really cute. I really like this color. It looks... <clears throat> so it looks short back here. If you can see closer up here, the wig itself has like these pastel highlights in it like a bubblegum pink mixed in with it when you back up you can't really tell i guess it gives it depth the balance would be really nice each layer is set up right here to make it a little bit easier it's got hair clips it's got these straps that you can use to tighten it even though i'm not sure Gotta try it. Got a condom for my head. Lewig. And by the way, I did not style this at all. This is the way it came. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. <laughs> First note, this is a little bit small for my head. I don't really know how I feel about this, so I like the color. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but you see that, you see that, you see all that, all of that. Me too. I have a feeling that this was made for people with very tiny heads and very tiny faces. It's cute. But like, see, I can't even style it the way that I want because my hairline, even if I fit it up here, yanked this down so that way you could not see my hairline up here, it still would show right here. This wig goes like that. You see that? It doesn't cap where it should. I don't really know how I feel about that. I have yet to buy myself a very nice wig, mainly because this kind of thing 
doesn't make me trust it. True story, when I was a Disney princess, or when I was dressing up as Moana, I had to wear this giant wig. Super heavy, super hot, always sweating. It at least fit my head right. You know what I'm saying? I could lay it down all right here so you couldn't tell. I could also lay it down all right here so that way I could pin that shit and it would hide everything. I can't. I can't. This is a cute wig, just to make that clear. If I did up my makeup, I'm sure I'd feel a lot better about it, but I got a big head. It's just life. I got a big old noggin, and I can't find stuff that fits very often. That's why I don't really like that one size fits all type of thing. There is no way I can hide that. Whereas I like the color, I like the style, I like the feel of it, it's super soft, it leaves room for your scalp to breathe. I can't even move because then you can see. That's kind of like a big, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to have to stretch the sh out of it to the point where I'm afraid of it ripping. I wish this fit a little bit better. So that way I would feel like more confident in it. I think what I could do is hide it. So like bobby pin it there. I'm sure I'd have to cut the bangs a little bit. It's a little bit difficult to see. That's really my only complaint. I mean, it's not that bad. I can run my fingers through it. It's pretty soft. I think I can do it. Hey, who's this? Who's this? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, apparently she did not like that. Well, time to... In terms of quality, this wig is like a seven, at least seven out of 10, especially if you want something that's not like $300 and you just kind of want to spice something up a little bit. You know, they're a lot better quality than getting something that's like completely plastic, costume store type of thing. The one thing I will say that just was a really big thing for me was the sizing. Even if you, you know, tried to spread the hair apart, you would still come into the problem of seeing the bottom of the wig. You can see through it there. But for my first one, I don't think this is that bad. Kind of makes me feel like a bubblegum princess unicorn. So I think if I did some dark makeup with it, but we'll see. We'll try it on. Maybe we'll do a look with it later. Quarantine's got me all. In the meantime, go ahead and let me know if you guys have any other suggestions for video ideas. I'm open to trying new.